So, free agility week three, toy play. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> yeah! Good girl. Okay, out. Good. Quite a few reasons. I know some dogs um, might not be that interested in toy play. Lila obviously is. Um, but if you have got a dog like that, I do suggest that you get yourself a pencil case, fill it with tasty treats, wiggle it about on the floor to tease the dog, and then just take off. Giggy! Oh, she's out running to get them to chase it. When they pounce on it, open it up and give them the treat. Uh, the reason we use tug toys or a toy, this is no ruin, okay, um, or a toy with some kind of rope connected to it is because in agility, we want the reward of play to come from you. If you use a ball and you throw it, your dog, Exactly. <laughs> just have the zoomies and their reward is that you get to chase them to get the ball. So you can get balls with, with um, tugs connected to them, so I, I do recommend that if your dog does love toys. Um, toys are really good for when you want to do distance work because you can throw the, the toy forward and the dog will go forward over the obstacle to fetch it. If you rely heavily on food, and my first ever dog was actually um, what we call a Velcro dog, the problem with that is my dog would only ever run next to me because the food always came out of my hands. It also meant they had to stop to get the food. They were always looking back to see you were reaching in your hat. So really the dogs I had over that, I really made sure they were toy motivated. Um, you can encourage them to like the toy by holding them back. Mm -hmm. back and them, yes! <laughs> Tell them they can get it. Um, but the next part of the lesson would be getting your dog to release the toy. So, in my world, uh, this is really good for impulse control, impulse control training. They never take the toy unless I verbally give them permission to take it. Then when I want them to release the toy, I use the word out. You can use whatever word you want. But the secret to get them to release it is you have to um, get them to release it for something. It could be treats, toys, but they're not just going to release it for no reason at all. There has to be something in it for them. I'm going to show you Lila. I'm going to let her take the toy, then I'm going to say the word out. As she releases the toy is when I start introducing the word out. So it should look something like this. Okay, ready? Okay, take it. Good. Take it. Out. Good. Take it. Out. <laughs> she knows it's going too well. And my bad actually for letting her know this food with my cup. Okay, ready? Take it. So let them take it. Let them tug on it. The girl. Out. Okay? Uh, it's also really good for agility if you have a dog that you want to keep on the high um, mentally to help them enjoy the game. There's nothing worse than having a dog that's just like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. Yes! So you can keep that adrenaline level up. Yes! Out. Um, it will help them to enjoy the sport just a little bit more. I do know with some dogs that just aren't uh, toy motivated, it, it is hard work in the beginning, but I really do um, suggest that you persevere with it. There's nothing worse than doing a set of 12 wee poles and having to run right down to the end to reward your dog. If you could throw the food forward, the food, sorry, the toy board as they come out of the poles, they'll pick it up. 
they should bring it back to you to get the reward of the tub. But ne in next week's lesson, we are going to cover that um, a little bit more, the retrieving, bringing it back. Okay.